Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, friends and fans. Uh, we just come back this weekend from the Insomnia Gaming Festival, and uh, thought we'd share with you some more interesting things that we found. Uh, had all the normal things you'd expect from a gaming festival: queues, queuing children, more queues. Someone set fire to a subway stand at one point. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. It, I mean, the Insomnia Gaming Festival is traditionally your kind of uh, land party, but over the years, it's sort of tacked on Expo on the side has become bigger and bigger, and it's given it cost a lot more this year. I thought, well, we'll go along and see what it's like. So, um, hopefully you'll join us to have a look at some of the things we found there. Like super dry jackets. They had uh, all sorts of flashy lights and stage events and stuff, but nothing much we had a look at. And then all retro games with people who are far too young to be playing them. That <laughs> child there whose mind just melted. <laughs> and there's Mega Drive. Fantastic. And, and this, I, I, don't, I don't remember last time I saw a Sega Saturn, to be quite honest. <laughs> Neither does Sega. Look, it's emaciated pool. <laughs> uh, Deadpool stuff was everywhere this year. Everywhere. Oh, that's another stage thing. Oh, what my eyes! Ah! Seriously, whoever, whoever was doing the lights for that needs to be hunted down. So what did we find while we were there? Transformer tat. I think you can all agree a massive metal dinosaur is uh, is good. It's good. So, uh, and also, being a massive Star Trek fan, as you may or may not know, uh, a 1701 um, spatula sort, sorts me out, and other kitchen appliances like a pizza cutter. That looks fantastic. I love that. Really nice. I, I will own many Star Trek <laughs> models at some point, and I think on Bird of Prey will do me nicely. This was quite good. I did admire its purity, but it, it you know, I wasn't paying 25 quid for it. And so on to the main event. Lots of random retro games. Including Predator 2, it seems. Which, which was a strange game. <laughs> and while the uh, Amiga version is the real version, the best version, I did appreciate the PlayStation version of Worms. It's very good. And what, what, what's this? This is Blasto, notable for being one of the last works by the sort of late great uh, Phil Hartman. Oh, he provided okay. the voice. It was also hard as hell. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I have to say, it, 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 yeah, it got mar marked it quite well, but it was very difficult. I should go back to it. Cool. Ah, Carmageddon. Uh, was it any good on the PlayStation? I never played it. <laughs> well, PC version was fine, wasn't it? Oh, what you got here? The, the best Devil May Cry, sort of. <laughs> it's got cool stuff before, but I, I think Devil May Cry 3 was probably the best. The peak. Cool, like. cool. I had no idea Civ 2 was out on the PlayStation. Has to be said. I, it wasn't one I played, I'll be honest. <laughs> Boo! The less said about this, the better. Go away. Is that not good? Gone. No. Different, <laughs> different team to the first game. Oh. Speaking. Uh, there you go, Ian. Here, here's a good game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ha, ha, ha. Never. Excellence Never. itself. Never. You will play it. No. It's coming for you. No. You cannot escape. No. What What have you found here, Adam? The first Metal Gear game on the PSP, aside from Metal Gear Acid, which uh. was a bit odd. <laughs> Always with the Metal Gear. Yep. And there's a very special edition of uh, NBA 2K6 here, featuring uh, the playable character of Devil Shack, uh, according to the cover, if you can get it in focus. That is... There um, Unusual. Yes. <laughs> now this was a good game. Armed and dangerous. Quite funny. I think somebody gets stuffed inside a, a large animal's butt at some point. I played a lot of that game on the on the PC. A lot of the demo, anyway. Oh, this is an interesting one. Doom Three on the original Xbox. The Monster I, Closet Edition. Look. I can't imagine that working. <laughs> well, there's there's no mods for uh, torches. Well, as you said, I'm a Star Trek fan, so I found oh. I've never seen this game before, but I can tell it's in the uh, alternate universe because it's got the all, the uh, sort of Imperial Federation logo on the front. Shouldn't the box have a goatee? <laughs> the box should probably have a goatee, yes. Looks very cool. And since you've trained me well, here's Portable Ops Plus. Which was sort of almost completely different than the original game, and it was just sort of strange custom missions. Ah, Alien Hominid by uh, the Behemoth. I've not played that. I it's, really should. It's very good. You should. Get your Peter Gunn theme tune ready. Get Spy Hunter. <laughs> that was a great game. I, I, I quite enjoyed Also that. by Midway. I played the original on the arcade. Ah, Mega Games 1. I actually own this. It, it's very good. I think the, the music in um, Columns was very good. Yes. Ah, uh, another Amiga classic. Uh, another World. What do you mean out of this world? <laughs> very good. Mike Garuba. Oh, look. 
Duncan Guttridge what did the art for this game. <laughs> I wasn't lying. You weren't lying. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> Wise from your grave. It's Altered Beast. That was a good game. So whether I ever played Altered Beast, you know. You missed out on the compressed voice acting. <laughs> Ah, uh, Street Fighter 2, another get Mega Drive game I own. Get your six-button controller ready. And your 24 meg. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so where is like the the first Sonic sort of mirrored the one on the Mega Drive closely. The Sonic 2 on the uh, Master System was a bit of a weird game. There was the hang gliding segment at one point, as I recall. <laughs> and there's the original Sonic. Original Sonic, I played that on the uh, Master System. Oh. Chuck Rock, also let's, on let's the Let's put Amiga. that back, let's put that back. Ghouls and Ghosts! Ah, uh, yay! A classic, a classic. Classically difficult. So we didn't actually get that much, and you've got to come away with something, really. Well, I got things. those Pokemon coasters and that Amaze Balls thing. That's true, that's true. And I got Firefly Flux, because I'm a bit of a brown coat. You've got to love a bit of Firefly, and. Uh, yes, you do. Um, the, Star Wars car? Cause I, I don't, don't even know. I don't know how that would work. Firefly Flux, is there a card in there that causes a sort of Fox SWAT team to burst in the house and cancel the game just so it gets good? <laughs> And there you go, that's the um, lovely, lovely Insomnia Gaming Festival. Bye! Uh, not sure it was worth the money that we paid, but we enjoyed ourselves. So did all the small children <laughs> at Mr Tumble's Minecraft <laughs> yes. Hour. But we're going now. Come back soon, I'm sure we will for something else. The NEC is local, it's all good. <coughs> Hero Gamer! <laughs> Hero Gamer! <laughs> you, seem have a, you seem to have a cop there. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> well, drop your subs and your likes and your comments and we'll see you... Next time. Tatty bye.